Kazini Kazi brought to you by the Ministry of Industrialization. The Ministry of Industrialization to name Marisha Viwanda. Eastern Kenya is generally characterized by unpredictable rainfall patterns. Consequently, the region has over the years registered poor crop harvest, leading to increased food shortage in the region. But in the midst of these harsh climatic conditions, an entrepreneur is using what is at his disposal to create a living for hundreds of residents in Makweni and across the country. David Masika, a real estate agent, operates a cotton mill in Makweni. We as genus, our business is to gin it, that is, to collect it from the farmers, bring it to the ginery, and then gin it, that is, separate the cotton itself to the seeds. Started 10 years ago, Makweni Gineries is a project that rekindles fond memories from the then entrepreneur dating back to his days as a young boy in his father's farm. My father grew it and I remember my old days going to take the cotton to the same, the same ginery. So we bought it um, uh, about 10 years ago. As Masika reveals, the ginery is not entirely new. The project existed years ago. <laughs> It always been there from the mid 70s and 80s. So cotton was not new in that area. But then, for some reasons or other, the cotton industry had collapsed. Reviving the mill, as Masika says, was not easy. The entrepreneur came head on with outdated machinery and unwilling farmers who had long abandoned cultivation of cotton when he embarked on the project. Most of these generators were set up in the 1970s. The technology itself was old. Um, so we embarked on trying to improve the, the generator itself. Determined to bring the project back to its feet, Masika managed to convince the farmers and within no time, the mill was back to business. When we started the generator, our, our main aim was to try to see if we can go back again to where we were when I myself was young and when my father and other farmers would grow cotton and take it to the, to the, to the, to the ginery. Um, and after that had collapsed, the area was left completely with no cash crop now. So mine was to try to see if we can go back again to, to that position. Today the ginery is nothing close to its former self. Where an abandoned mill once stood, another one with the potential to produce at least 30 bales of cotton now stands. A bale will take 600 kilos from the farmers and a bale is 200 kilos. Such that on the 600, one third which is 200 kilos will be the cotton itself and the two thirds will be the cotton seeds. From the farms to the cotton mill, cotton processing is an interesting procedure. When we get the raw materials from the farmers, we bring it to the ginery. And at the ginery, we sort it out because it comes with all sorts of impurities. And then we run it through a machine that shakes it and, and blows the dust off the cotton. Now, from that machine, Cotton is then dropped into the actual ginning machines. Now these machines separate the actual cotton, which we now call lint, to the seeds. Now, at the same stage, we now bale the cotton. Ten years of hard work, it seems, has been a fruitful journey. The project is now a means of livelihood, generating income for cotton farmers in the country and others in the value chain. At the ginery, we have got a permanent staff of about 25 to 30 people. But when we are ginning, we employ up to 150, sometimes 200 people. But then, most important, is that you are employing drivers, you are employing tiny boys, those people who are bringing in the products. And also, the farmers, 
you have already employed maybe 100,000 farmers, whether that be in Makweni or in Peketone or in Busia. The cotton business, Masika says, has however not been without challenges. When the industry died, our textile manufacturing factories also lost the market share. So when the cotton came up, they found them now with no market share because that had been taken over by Mutumbas and uh, other important uh, textiles. Even so, the entrepreneur is confident that the future is bright indeed. To me, cotton is the sky's the limit. There, there are so many things that you can produce uh, from cotton. And as he prepares ground for the future, Masika only speaks well of the hands behind his success. IDP has been uh, 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 clients um, of Lloyd Massacre Limited since the last 30 years and they did come in and they did support us into buying and so on. Kazi ni Kazi. IDB Capital Limited partnered with McQueen Journalists through financing. This was a great opportunity in the development of the community through employment creation, development of infrastructures and in general leasing the standard of living of the community. Zinikazi brought to you by the Ministry of Industrialization. The Ministry of Industrialization to name Marisha Viwanda.